Mithridates VI, otherwise and more famously known as the Poison King. Today, we jump back into our series on the history of human experimentation by looking at the Poison King and at just how he did earn such an awesome epitaph. Pontic King Mithridates VI, otherwise known as the Poison King, ruled Pontus from 120 BC until his death in 63 BC, and he would most famously be remembered for his obsession with toxicology. Now, the times in which Mithridates ruled were terminus at best. Wars were aplenty, with kings and empires falling all around him. Courtroom intrigue and politics, often between family members, was a common occurrence and often a reason for these downfalls. And in such a subtle realm of politics, a subtle killer is needed. Poison. Mithridates would have his first experience with such methods in 120 BC, when his father, Mithridates V, was assassinated via poison. While we don't know for sure who committed or ordered the assassination, or the numerous attempts on the young Mithridates, but it is generally assumed that these were all called by his mother, who gained regency after the king's death. This would force Mithridates to go on the run, and he wouldn't return to seize power until 116 BC. Now while on the run, to better prevent against his own potential assassination, Mithridates began experimenting. He would take small doses of each and every poison or venom he could get his hands on. Luckily, Pontus proved rich in such materials, his homeland providing ample supplies of poisonous plants, venomous creatures and toxic minerals. After fully seizing power in 114 BC, Mithridates would begin purging the palace of anyone even suspected of harbouring ill intent towards the present or former king, and by who would have guessed it? Poison. And it's here where Mithridates cranked his experiments up to 11, and unfortunately this experimentation was in no way limited to himself. Mithridates was reported to have regularly tested these poisons and their experimental antidotes on captives just to test their effectiveness. It's horrific to think of the things that may have occurred in those dungeons, and what those prisoners may have been suggested to. It's the like of horror that you wouldn't see later until the modern era with things such as Unit 731 and clinical experiments. But anyway, back to Mithridates. Over time, Mithridates was said to have successfully built up an immunity to the vast majority of poisons, going as far as to publicly consume poison as a party trick, as well as having supposedly produced a substance known as Mithridatium. So the supposed result of decades of experimentation, Mithridatium was said to be a cure-all antidote, capable of healing the afflicted of any and all poisons. On a slight light note here, can we all see the similarities between Mithridates and a Skyrim character? He's just running around the world picking up anything he can find and eating it to see what happens. Parallels are frightening. Anyway, in a final twist, Mithridates' greatest strength would be his undoing and the cause of his last and greatest pain. On the wrong end of a war with Rome, and with no way out, Mithridates decided to end his own life and that of his family. After all consuming poison, it is said that Mithridates felt only a mild pain as he watched his daughters writhe and wither before him, eventually calling on aid from a guard to end his life. Now, whether or not Mithridatium was ever real is always open for debate, but the man's obsession with toxicology isn't. I will say as a closing note on Mithridatium, what better way to prevent an attempt on your life via poisoning than to make a public show of how ineffective poison is against you? Mithridatium could very well have been the ultimate propaganda piece in securing not only Mithridates' personal security, but his longer lasting place in history. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments guys. Let me know if you enjoyed it. Feel free to like and subscribe if you do, because it massively helps the channel anytime you do guys. And let me know if you guys would like any specific parts of these videos fleshed out further in the future. Thank you and I'll catch you on the next one guys.